Wait, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I'm taking oh, like the picture. Alright, so Mr. Beast is in Australia. He's in Sydney, which is a city I'm living in. I really want to meet him because I have a lot of questions I want to ask him uh, regarding YouTube. I don't, I'm not going to ask him for money, not nothing like that. But I do feel like it would be very life-changing if I could just have a conversation with him. So, uh, I guess in today's video, we're going to be trying to look for Mr. Beast. And that is exactly what I did. I walked into the challenge knowing that I might not even see him at all. And what happened in this vlog was something I never expected. I was determined. I wanted to make it my goal for the week to meet Mr. Beast. Because I just have a lot of questions for the YouTube genius. So like your crazy ex-stalker, I decided to go everywhere that he posted he was at. Alright, oh well, we're here at the Sydney Opera House. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. We're actually in the middle of witnessing Mr. Beast. We ended up not being able to find him at all because, well, what did I expect? Was he really going to be here in broad daylight? So I guess that was a mistake on my part. However, that wasn't the only reason I came. I actually came because I wanted to ask the workers there for the details of the event because it hasn't been posted yet. After asking probably two or three people, we learned how their schedule operates. We know what time they're going to close and what time they open. 9, 10. 10. That's $40. $40 already. 9, 10. That's $80. 80. Five more. Five more. $100? Yep, that's right. I just spent $100 on Feastables. Now, this is not because I wanted to win a car. In all honesty, I really do like Feastables, and I think it's one of the best tasting chocolate out there. But at the same time, I saw an opportunity that I might be able to meet Mr. Beast if I won the giveaway, so I took my chances. Yo, I don't know why I'm playing Mr. Beast slots right now. This is how it feels. First time at a casino. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty shocked when I saw that it was a gambling game. It was literally slots, and if you got three Lamborghinis, you won the Lamborghini. Now, even though I got myself a ton of chances, I ended up not getting anything. Bro, ain't no way that's my $100. So I just told my friends that, that I didn't win anything, $100, and I said this is basically slots, and Nathan said that he would give me 50 bucks because he wants to play too. Oh shit, he gave it to me. All right guys, I did something else. Oh, what's this back? This is our old chocolate, and we got some, uh, Wow. We got some new chocolate. We had 50 feasible bars in our house, and right away it was back to the slot machine. It felt really bad playing slots because I did kind of feel like gambling where every turn is $4, but this was the maximum I was gonna spend. I feel like 50 pieces of chocolate in my fridge is okay because I do eat chocolate quite often, but anything more than that is too much. It's done. We're done. You swear? We give up. Even though this is, uh, would have been a very good opportunity. This is all I wanted. And there I was, crushed, knowing that the little chance I had is completely gone now. I really wanted to meet Mr. Beast and his crew because I wanted to learn more about YouTube. Unfortunately, that's the end for me. Or is it? This is me coming home at one in the morning, and I have a story to tell you guys. Let me tell you and the camera a story real quick, okay? Today, me and Leo went out to see the Feastable Bars. Wanted to be like part of a Mr. Beast video, or even just have a conversation with him, or like his, you know, his crew. I thought that maybe having a chat with them, or getting to know them would be like, very eye-opening. So uh, me and Leo thought, because the set is built in front of the Sydney Opera House, and that's a really public place, so I thought the only time that they would be open is at like midnight. I think that's when Mr. Beast will go check by himself because no one's gonna be there. So me and Leo decided to get bikes and bike to the Sydney Opera House, which is a 30 minute bike. But before that, we had a whole argument. We actually ended up going even later. And then when we got out, our bike kept malfunctioning. We had to keep switching bikes because we were renting line bikes. We ended up biking all the way there. There was four other random guys with bikes also. And it turns out like the security guards blocked off everything. So yeah, you can't even go in, no one can go in. So we're about to walk away. I turned around again, I was like, ah oh, shit. Looked at the people on the bikes. The four people on the bikes. I was like, wait a minute, I think I recognize you guys. And they're like, oh, you do? And it turns out it was the home Mr. Beast crew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you said you biked there, and I was like, uh, where did you bike from? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you from Australia? No, I'm from I'm from New York. New York? Gotcha. Yeah. What's yeah. A I'm right? actually a, a vlogger. I mean, oh, for real? Yeah. I'm just starting out. Okay. What's the channel called, dude? This is my name. What's your name? Uh, Ethan Wong. Ethan, Ethan Wong. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if I, I'm you taking like the picture. Too? All right, bro. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Well, wait, what are the chances, though? What are that chances? is so yeah. crazy, because we literally just showed up for like a couple of minutes. Yeah, we were like, oh, we'll try to take a picture, and then we couldn't get in, we were like, oh. Chris didn't believe me, so I had to show him a picture. But I guess the life lesson in this is, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Even though I did something that's almost impossible, I just randomly went out at 1 in the morning to try to bump into Mr. Beast's crew, and I actually bumped into them. I would definitely say he's lucky, but if I haven't gone and done that, then I wouldn't have bumped into them. And it's all thanks to wasting $200 on the Feastable Bars. Because if I didn't waste all that money, I wouldn't be so ambitious to meet them now. You can climb the ridge. Dude, I heard about that. Yeah. That's, That's actually crazy. How long have you guys lived in uh, Sydney? Uh, 